hello viewer welcome to my youtube channel software testing today i'll show you how you can use ai for writing software automation testing code today i'll use chat gpt for writing selenium java JUnit test script for application login functionality so watch the video till to the end then you will be able to do the same thing you don't need to write any script from the scratch you will take the ai written script then you will modify then run it that's it so today's topics i define this way like web automation using ai i will use chat gpt and selenium script creation by chat gpt import that script in eclipse selenium in selenium project update script with path and others like element locator and all other things then we will execute script let's see how this will work in order to do that um, we will use uh, chrome browser uh, you can use any browser so open browser then you need to go chat gpt website which is chat.openai.com and also you need to create your account in this website then you will be able to access this location otherwise not it's a very simple process you can create your application or create your user account then log in so in order you need to write your prompt over here the script you are looking for in order to make the video shorter i already created prompt like this way uh, can you please write java selenium JUnit script for application login functionality and use firefox browser and also test class name will be chat gpt test so let me copy the prompt from here and paste it here and then hit enter once we'll hit enter chat gpt start writing the test script will copy from here and we'll use it for our purpose and also chat gpt um, suggest over here we need to replace path the thing we already told about that um, also url um, those things and element locator id username whatever it is needed we need to modify those things so anyway we can copy the code from here then we'll go to the eclipse already i created a empty class for chat gpt test in the same name just paste it over here so already we did that and so far we see import oh, basically com dot ide we need the package declaration very beginning that's why it is showing error now error is gone this is our test basically we will modify something first thing we will modify will not do the um, before and after test all the thing will be like commented out only we'll take test portion and then after method all that thing also commented out here also it is commented on let me do the we are taking driver.quit from here copy after the login button click we'll close the browser that's when quit from the application so first thing we need to we need to um, set the driver path that's thing we are needed copy from before method we are directly pasting in the test method so here we need to update the gecko driver path already i noted down over here gecko driver path is here copy and paste it over here as firefox browser use gecko driver so that's it then also driver.get we use this url orange hrm this thing copy now we need to paste it directly we are pasting over here Here is our URL. 
so first thing what we are doing system dot set property then also we don't need this one we'll use this thing web driver driver so then we need initialize the firefox browser let me copy from here and also then we'll do the driver maximize after opening browser it needs to be maximized so basically the url is let me open this url in a browser and i will show you what already i made it so if we go this website here is the login functionality if you right click inspect that element locator you see class name is let me close this one. if we go to the username it is class name is username similar way password is the password already i took those properties over here and i'll just copy from here just i am show, showing in the application already i in order to short my video i already username it is username password is password username is admin and password is admin one two three so those are username then it is the login button login button basically uh, there is no class and id we need to use the css selector it is the css selector for the login button so we need to paste it over here and instead of id we need to put css dot css selector So that means it is uh, user ID, then password, then click login button, then we are closing this one. So in order to do that, we need to just a application loading purpose. We need to put some wait time, thread dot sleep, let's say 15,000 millisecond. That means it will wait uh, for application login functionality home page loading it uh, will load for the 15 seconds so there is the red mark if you click if you do the thrust declaration um, exception that will be gone then after that click enter user ID password also we'll do another thread dot sleeve let's say 5000 millisecond that means after login it will wait sometimes then it will close the browser that is our today's testing purpose also is the test annot annotation we'll change the annotation to JUnit test jupyter JUnit. copy that i'll paste it over here so uh, all the script is written by chat gpt only thing we copy paste over here and also we updated the path like gecko driver path over here then also updated url and also we updated element locator like name uh, and also put the user id password and also css selector we added for the login button click so only thing we uh, updated those things we don't even write any script and also we add some 
wait time for application loading purpose here is for application loading purpose 10,000 millisecond means 10 second thereafter once it click the login button uh, we put over here 5000 millisecond that means 5 second thereafter application will be closed that's all the updated uh, from the um, ai detail script um, it is only for the uh, the application you are testing that purpose it needs some update like a path and all other locator so now let me run this one right click run as j unit test let's see how it goes So it opened the Firefox browser and also it navigated to the correct URL. So let me load the page. So it maximized the browser. Then it will enter the user ID. Uh, it is waiting like a wait time 10 seconds, I believe. Admin, you see, click in the login button. It, the application login successful. Then it will close the browser that is our testing purpose so that means you see the green over here that means the um, it successfully logged in um, and log close the browser so that means chat gpt ai written script works totally perfect and fine with the uh, using help of AI like chat GPT you don't need to write the script from scratch automation script you just need to modify some here and there like URL path and element locator then you can use that is chat GPT written script for your automation testing purpose so that means web automation uh, is if you use selenium java or any other language you will just need to create the actual uh, prompt and as per prompt chat gpt will write your script and so far i see over here it has been written successfully and test is passed i believe this will be very helpful those who are new in using chat gpt and web automation testing using selenium if you think this is helpful please like my video subscribe my channel and share it to others also if you have any question please make a comment i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you for watching this video